Do you know how old this flannel shirt is? Guess, guess how old this shirt is. It is nine years and 50, how many weeks are in a year? It'll be 10 years old next week. I bought this flannel that I'm wearing for this video. 10 years ago, I was on my honeymoon. Kay and I were going to a concert and I wanted to look cool. <laughs> so we went to Old Navy and I bought this lumberjack flannel. Today uh, is our 10th anniversary. We've been married for 10 years. Our channel now is be has kind of transformed over the last few years uh, from like a homestead how-to kind of channel to really getting a bit more personal and intimate. You've seen us through some very close intimate time. You've seen us dealing with ups and downs on the homestead when things go bad. It's day three. We're dealing with Luna scours. We're expecting the fecal results back from the vet this morning and then we'll be able to go from there. Let's see that I'll give it this. Remember this? In the homestead where you're raising livestock, you deal with a lot more death. I wasn't expecting anything. I turned the corner and I saw that Daisy had died. These poisons are tricky and it takes a long time working with these animals to get them out of their systems. Moving, you, that, I mean, that was an incredibly challenging period. Now you're feeling emotional? I'm feeling a little bit emotional, yeah. Um, so many good memories here. Built a good life here. <laughs> <laughs> Still kind of is, and very intimate, saying goodbye to the home that we lived in for well, almost, uh, what was it, eight years we were there. And so I thought, you've become such a part of our life, this channel, this vlog, homesteady. It has become more intimate over the last year or two, and I thought it would be all right, appropriate to include a video today on our anniversary, uh, talking about that. It's a 10 year wedding anniversary. And sadly, there's not, not every couple makes it to 10 years for one reason or another. And I just am feeling super, feeling very happy today. I want to talk about three things that I've learned from being married for 10 years to Kay. The love of my life. And I have notes to help me get through this. So let's start at the top. <laughs> I wanted to do three things I've learned from being married because I don't want to like give advice to anybody. I've only been married 10 years. It's not like it's a lifetime, it's not 50 years. Uh, but I have learned so much in these last 10 years and I feel like the last couple of years I've really learned a lot from being married and uh, it's been wonderful. And I just, yeah, it's our anniversary. I wanna mark it somehow here on the channel. 10, an 10 years together. Uh, November 15th is our wedding anniversary. It was supposed to be an October wedding. We were planning on getting married in a tent in a field somewhere. And uh, I procrastinated way too long to ask Kay to marry me. I don't know why I was dragging my feet so much. I knew she was the right one for me a long time before I asked her to marry me. I was just a little scared, is the honest truth. When I finally asked her, it was too late to have an October wedding. So we 
at least outside. So we tried to get married at a restaurant in October and that fell through. And then we found in November an opportunity at a place. And November 15th, okay, we just, at that point, we're ready to get married. And so November 15th, we wound up uh, marrying. We had no, this life that you see here on this channel was not at all what we had planned. We had a very different life plan, very different goals and plans for our future. But that's how life is, right? Things change and uh, I'm so glad I am where I am today. The first, the first thing that I've learned from being married for 10 years, this will come as a shock to some of you, I'm not perfect. <laughs> Now, of course, I knew I wasn't perfect before I got married, but growing up, I was a very confident young man. I had a family that was uh, very proud of me, and I was, I just felt like, I was very confident. I felt like I was all that in a bag of chips. And marrying Kay made me realize that I ain't got no dip. <laughs> you know what I mean? Being married for 10 years, you start to learn as time goes on that you are not perfect and that's okay. You have flaws. One of the things Kay liked the most about me right up front was the fact that I had a bit of a speech impediment. I don't know if you've noticed on the channel, but I don't really say my L's right. I have a fat tongue. <laughs> Uh, Kay liked that about me, and I was always embarrassed by my speech impediment. I used to get made fun of a lot in school, but Kay thought it was cute. And early on, that showed me like, hey, it's okay to not be perfect. That becomes much more obvious when you're actually married, and it's not like, hey, it's cute you have a speech impediment, but instead it's like, dude, you're super disorganized and really bad at planning. <laughs> but it's been really good for me over this last 10 year period Kay, in a loving, kind way, has shown me areas that I needed to grow. If they released iPhone version one and said, this is the greatest phone ever, we could not possibly get any better, we would all would have not the best version of the iPhone. Kay, in a loving, kind way, has shown me areas that I needed to grow. If we're gonna become better versions of ourselves, we need to acknowledge that we're not perfect, we're not the best version of ourselves. When you're in the dating world, you're trying to present yourself as the best version. I'm awesome, you should be with me. And so you go around thinking like, I'm awesome, and hey, don't you wanna be with someone who's awesome? But then, or at least that was my experience. Having been married for a long time, your mate starts to show you areas that you could improve. And that's how we get to be the best versions of ourselves. Time goes on, those who love us the most help us see the flaws, where we could become a better version of ourselves, and they point that out. And that helps us to make that helps us to make serious growth. And there's a truck driving by me right now, so I'm gonna wait for the truck to drive by before I say anything super deep. I wanted to say thank you, okay? for helping me to grow, to become a better person. You've lovingly showed me ways that I needed to improve who I was, and I feel like with your help, I have become a better version of the man or even the boy that you married 10 years ago. So let's go on to uh, point number two. Go to my notes here. Right, acknowledging that you're not perfect kind of takes you off the hook. Uh, so here you are as a married person and you realize you have flaws. And being that you're flawed means that, shocker, there are times when you will be wrong. You're not always going to be right. Now this is one I have really come to understand a lot more in the last couple years, maybe the last year. <laughs> like I said, it's only 10 years. Instead of being so defensive and trying to always be right. I have learned that I am wrong at times, dead wrong, I do things that are wrong, I make mistakes, and it's okay to just say, you know what, you were right, I was wrong, I'm sorry. I am a, uh, I got a lot of Latin blood, a lot of Italian blood, confident, prideful, and that was very hard for me to handle early on in our relationship. 
I was the kind of person who would argue with someone endlessly. <laughs> One of my best friends, Accountant Mike, you guys know him. Uh, half of our friendship was spent just arguing with each other because we both never wanted to admit being wrong. We just endlessly argued. Being married, realizing I'm not perfect, has helped me come to realize that I am wrong at times and it's okay to admit that. It's okay to say, yep, I was wrong and say sorry. And that's been helpful, especially in the last couple of years through the more stressful things that we've gone through. The third, the third thing that I wanted to talk about in this video that I've learned from being married for 10 years, I actually kind of changed this one at the buzzer. I've been working on this for the last couple days uh, putting together this idea. I didn't want this video to be like, how to be married for 10 years, here's my advice. I just wanted to come away, like what have I really learned? How, how, what, what have I gotten better at? What has hit home to me in 10 years of marriage? That's a third of my life. What big takeaways? And really those first two were big for me, realizing like I have flaws. Not that I'm not perfect, I knew I wasn't perfect, but really learning my flaws and, and addressing them head on and saying, wow, you're right, I'm not good at that. And then being able to admit, hey, I was wrong, I'm sorry. I'm still working on that. Kay's gonna remind me of this video next time we have an argument. <laughs> uh, but this third one really hit home. I actually had some other idea and I scrapped it because this one hit home today. As I was getting ready to do this, I went out I wanted to get, you know, a card and flowers. It's your anniversary, get your wife a card, get some flowers. And I didn't even know where to go. We just moved. I don't know, where do you go around here to get flowers? Where do you go around here to get a nice card? Not like a super cheesy anniversary card. You know, those are hard, like finding the right anniversary card. Anyway. So I had to go to a couple different places and I'm thinking like, oh man, I know back home where to go. And I put myself back to that. We've moved. I don't live home in Connecticut anymore. Constantly, little things like, where am I gonna order pizza? Where do I stop to get lunch? Where am I gonna buy my wife's flowers for our anniversary? Reminds me that I'm not home and I, I don't feel like this is home yet. And I did a video not too long ago about this, how this doesn't feel like home. But what I have learned is that it doesn't matter where I am. It doesn't matter what's going on in life. The third thing that 10 years of marriage has taught me, when you find the right person, all you need in the world is them. Having moved away from my friends and family and all that I'm familiar with, dealing with the emotional ups and downs of the move, I could not have done this without Kay. She is all I need is Kay. Uh, our life has thrown us many curveballs from the original plan we had back when I bought this flannel on our honeymoon uh, to now, we've had some big things come out of the blue. Medical issues, personal relationships that have come and gone. We've moved twice, once a small move, but still a move away from what was familiar, and then a huge move to a whole new state. And it's not easy. Starting a family, raising children, uh, to the point that I've done it at this point, uh, those things can be challenging. There are hard times. The last 10 years of marriage to Kay has taught me all I need is her. No matter where we are in the world, no matter what's happening, the worst times of my life, the hardest struggles, and the best times of my life, and the, the most amazing moments, Kay has been there for them. Uh, she's helped me get through the hard times. She's made the good times better. And I can with her at my side, I can get through anything, I can accomplish anything. All I need is her. I wanna say thank you to my girl. I don't know what took me so long to ask you to marry me. She got a head start on this because it's been real good. 
It's been an amazing 10 years, and here's to forever. I never would have done a video like this, but not too long ago, one of my buddies did something kind of nice for his wife on Instagram, and I was like, what do you think of that? Because Kay's very private and kind of likes things personal, and I thought she wouldn't like that. Uh, but she said, oh, I think it's kind of cute. So hopefully she thinks this is cute too. <laughs> I want to do something fun tomorrow. Tomorrow is Ask Home Study, where we answer your questions. I thought it would be really fun if we could get, just for tomorrow, because it's our 10 year anniversary today, uh, just, you know, this channel, it's mostly about homesteading, but you get the personal stuff too. Uh, ask us, in today's video, comment below, hashtag Ask Home Study, marriage related questions. Just whatever you want to know, you know, within the boundaries of like, what we're actually going to talk about on YouTube. Um, yeah, if you have questions about our marriage, hashtag it Ask Home Study, and maybe tomorrow me and Kay will sit down and do an Ask Home Study together. Uh, it probably will come out on Saturday because I don't know if we'll have time to tomorrow because we have a special little anniversary date planned. Anyway, if you have some questions for us, hashtag Ask Home Study, uh, we'll cover all the marriage related questions together in our Ask Home Study this week. And you can find out, you know, who snores or uh, what's our biggest pet peeve, whatever you want to know, hashtag Ask Home Study. We'll do a special 10 years of 10 year anniversary Ask Home Study edition. Okay, I have to get home. I had to sneak away to do this so that Kay didn't know what I was up to. And if I don't get home soon, she'll start to wonder, where is he? And uh, get suspicious. She's hard to surprise. She's a tough one to surprise. If we simply start a family And scrape the barrel to get by That will simply be enough for me To find meaning in this life We know that forever Not long enough It doesn't have to be Complicated It's as simple as Me and you Love's a symphony Already orchestrated We can sing along When we say I do Complicated. It's as simple as me and.